Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day in downtown Grand Junction, Colorado, where I am still dressed like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It's supposed to be warmer today and tomorrow, but I'll believe that when I see it. So, if you didn't watch the previous episode, you need to go watch the previous episode, because I'm just going to get right into this one with no explanation at all, so you'll have to catch yourself up. Let's flip you around, show you what we got going on. Erica's here. Super awesome. Did super great this morning, except for the fact that somebody graveled one of the fucking roads that I drive to get here, and my dumb ass decided to make a pull over it, not realizing it was gravel, and she got loose. Yeah, fun times. Alright, so, I got my box of electrical connectors, including the 150 amp fuse that I blew up. Got some ATF, definitely not enough. Got some oil, that should be plenty. Fix a dipstick tube because that tab fell off, and I painted it red because ATF. And Dad donated this box of zip ties so that we can get all the wiring done. And then we flip around. <clears throat> Nothing has changed with my car. Haven't touched it. Evan's car is now on 16s. And these are the 16s that were on this car when I drove it home. So I'm super fond of these super sentimental attachment because they did really good. And I'm super proud of this thing. So like, this is a part of the journey that I really don't want to let go of. So it makes me super happy that they're on his car. Coming off of his car, this is a stack of wheels and tires. And to my understanding, this is going on Nemo's Subaru, which you guys did not see because it's bone stock and it's just a daily driver. But I might shoot you some video with this on it because they look, or should look, pretty decent. And other than that, today's journey is to do all of this shit all over again. And then need to get the power steering lines done and get the radiator hoses on it and the fuel line on it and put the actual nut on the motor mounts and tighten those down uh, tighten down the transmission mount uh, make sure that my drive shaft bolts are in the bag that should be in the trunk let's do that now chaos all the chaos all the fucking chaos These guys. All right, cool. So that's the mission today. Um, would like to get it 100% of the way ready to go to just put the carburetor on it tomorrow and then turn the key, fire it, fill it, and see if it'll work. That'll be part three. We're not doing that today. We're just working on it today. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I actually brought a Bluetooth speaker today. It's over there in the window, so I'm actually going to get some decent music that's not just headphones. And people won't be walking up behind me startling me, so that'll be good in all the different kinds of ways. So, let's set this up, and let's get to work.
your shining star Giving, receiving, changing, believing Holding them with a star Feel like, feel like, feel like that not mind the mess that's whatever is gonna happen this is the pan that I pulled off of it and don't see any water and it's not orange like I thought it was it's just really fucking old ATF so should be fine uh, the valve body that's underneath there right now doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence it doesn't feel very smooth so I think I'm going to switch valve bodies and pans and give this chance this transmission the best chance possible at working and then we're gonna go brand new ATF all throughout um, so yeah I'll probably pour this pan out make sure that there's no fucking major clutch issues in it and then let's start putting it back together I guess
was a long fucking day. That was more time lapse than I've done in a, a really long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Smash the like button. Anyways, I'm standing here. I've got a small list of things in my head that I need to get. I'm going to go hang out with Evan for a little bit and gather those things. Um, we are not going to get it running and driving tonight. Um, I could have, but I got myself freaked out on something on the valve body. There's like little screens on the valve body on mine. And they weren't on that one when I went and reinstalled it on that transmission to not lose that shit. So now I've got myself thinking that I've got it double screened. So I'm going to pull the valve body back off, make sure that there's not two screens in there. And put it back together and then we can fill it. Got three gallons of ATF on the ground. I'm going to go acquire some antifreeze. Uh, i got to acquire a piece of fuel line to redo the return on the power steering pump because it's old and cracked and shitty. Um, Dad's picking up an oil pressure gauge kit so that I don't have to take it back out of the truck. And then we should be good to go. I'm going to go up to Evan's house and grab that holly and have that ready for tomorrow too. So, yeah. Anyways, he's here, so I'm going to turn around and ask him the question that I'm curious about and I'm probably sure that you're curious about. Good evening, good sir! Yo! Why are you going from 17s to 16s? <clears throat> 17s are for bags. I'm just kidding. Um, for weight, smaller tire size. 17s are cool looking, but I'm not going for cool looking. I'm going for fast as I can, for as cheap as I can. Just so you guys are aware, these tires are not what's going to happen. Those aren't. Um, probably half of this tire height, <laughs> to be to be honest with you, is what's probably going to happen. So. So. Those tires. These ones. 245. No, 225, 45, 17. They're a great tire. I was I really like how they performed on the Corolla. But the fact that it's like 120 horsepower maybe on that car, it puts the to the turns, it puts the gears the gear ratio, hold on, I'll get it figured out. The gear ratio in the tranny. And that tire size puts me in second gear, really bogging down the RPMs, and I don't like that. And if I go to first, then it just spins the tires coming through the corner, and I don't like that either. So, my theory was smaller tire size, uh, change the gear ratio, kind of, and have a higher RPM through the turns and be able to get out of the turn faster. And the taller, smaller tire size will help the acceleration and overall less unsprung weight and rotating mass. So I should pick up probably another couple seconds around the track, I hope. And if this sounds confusing to you people that actually watch my channel and are dedicated to it, that's because we don't play that game. Well, the, the, the game that he just described, we play the opposite. We are going up in tire size, hoping to lower the RPM so that we can run it out the back door further. This car and that car are polar opposites. This one turns, this one goes in a straight line, this one does things, this one's grouchy as fuck. <laughs> that's, that's just how it is. So, I'm gonna go hang out with him. I am done for the night. I will catch you guys tomorrow when we get to find out whether this thing fucking moves or not, which will be fantastic because I would love to take this home. So, that'll be good. Catch you guys later. Bye!